Welcome to QA Insights QTP tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to see about checkpoints in QTP and its types. What is checkpoint? A checkpoint verifies whether expected information is displayed in your application while the test is running. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to insert checkpoints to check the validity of the objects in the flight application. Before that, we will see what are the types of checkpoints available in QTP. First one is standard checkpoint, whether it check the values of an object's properties. And there is an image checkpoint to validate the image displayed in the application. And there is a table checkpoint to check information in the table. Page checkpoint checks the characteristics of a web page like whether the page uh, response time if there is any a broken link in the application and there is a text checkpoint to check the string displayed in the application and there is a text area checkpoint to check text string is displayed within a defined area in windows based application and there is a bitmap checkpoint to check an area of an application after capturing it as a bitmap and there is a db checkpoint it checks the contents the database and there is a accessibility checkpoint it to check the web application whether it's a compliance with w3 consortium guidelines and there is an xml checkpoint to check the data content in the xml document now i'm going to record few actions in the flight application and we will see how to insert checkpoints in the flight application so i'm just recording flight application i'm just entering my username password so to insert checkpoint during recording, go to insert menu and go to checkpoint and select appropriate checkpoints. Now we will see how to insert a standard checkpoint. So once you selected standard checkpoint, your mouse pointer turns into hand symbol and you should click on the object you're going to insert the checkpoint. For example, I'm going to check whether the new button objects by inserting standard checkpoint so i'm just going to click on new icon so here it will display the location you clicked is associated with several objects so you need to select which object you are going to insert checkpoint so in this case we are going to validate the object properties of win button so just select the win button and click on ok now checkpoint properties window dialog box it will display the properties of the clicked object so in this case we are going to see whether the particular button is enabled or not during the execution so just select the property enabled and make sure that you are not selected any other properties and select constant value and you can mention the checkpoint timeout by default it is 10 seconds let it be default and click on ok now here you could see one line of code has been generated by QTP which says check checkpoint of button so this is how you add standard checkpoint now we will see how to insert text checkpoint so text checkpoint helps to validate the text is present or not in the appropriate location in this case we are going to validate the text fly from tech whether it is displaying properly or not during the test execution so just click on fly from text and select the appropriate object static fly from and click on ok so in text checkpoint properties dialog box we display the text from the application so here the checkpoint summary is fly from is displayed so if you would like to validate fly from text just mention the 
constant and checkpoint timeout as 10 seconds so rest uh, let it be default values and click on ok so in the QTP you could see the top of rate code has been generated by it will validate the checkpoint fly from so similarly you can just explore other types of checkpoints so accessibility checkpoint it will work with web based application and db checkpoint you need to have a db in place or you should have an access to db the appropriate user credentials and bitmap checkpoint enables us to check the images present in the application so here you could check the entire bitmap or check only selected area so if you selected area if you select the uh, check only selected area you can able to select only the part of the image displayed and click on ok so here you could see one more line of code has been generated so in this way you can add multiple checkpoints in to your test to validate actual versus expected so i'm going to stop the recording now we will see uh, how it will look in the results so for that i'm just going to execute this script so now we will see the results so this is the result just right click expand all so here you could see the checkpoint results so our first checkpoint is button it's enabled that's why the value is true so this particular checkpoint is passed and also the text also it's displaying appropriate place so this also pass and similarly bitmap checkpoint that is also getting displayed in the application so pass so in this way you can add multiple checkpoints to your test and validate your application properties so visit qinsights.com for more software testing related articles and tutorials. Thank you.